Hello. So we're back out here on the shooting range because I wanted to talk about something. So the other day when I did a video when I was zeroing in the scope here, I talked about how I really needed a tripod and I couldn't afford to buy like a trigger stick, which was like a hundred bucks. But I needed something, some kind of tripod to put my rifle on to get better, better accuracy with this because this is a Springer, there's a lot of kickback and it definitely affects my accuracy. So I used my camera tripod and I was like, that's a brilliant solution. So it worked. It was great. I had incredible accuracy. I have this like, like zeroed right in. But there's a problem. If I go to record myself shooting or hunting, what am I going to do without another tripod to mount my actual camera on <laughs> if my gun is currently using that? So for those who didn't see. So I was like, well, I can, every time I've been to a thrift store, I found old camera tripods. So I'm like, I'll just go to a thrift store. So I went around, could not find any. I have no idea where they all went. I was just at a thrift store somewhere recently, and I saw two of them. Now I can't find any. So I was like, well, damn it. Well, I guess I should buy, I'll need to buy one. Now, camera tripods, you can buy them cheap, like just cheap plastic ones online for a heck of a lot cheaper than buying actual like trigger sticks. So maybe this is still a fine sacrifice. But then I began, began to think about it. So actually in a hunting situation, how well will I be able to, like with the camera, here on a separate tripod, how well, how well will I be able to aim that and aim my rifle and make sure I'm pointing at the right direction? So I was like, hmm, well, if I need to buy like a, a tripod, anyway, sorry, mosquitoes, why don't I get one of these fun little octopus tripods that can attach onto anything? Because that will come in handy. I can put my web camera on that for the live streams and I can use it for various other fun shots um, when I'm working around the homestead because I'm trying to vary up my shots and my videos recently to just try to make videos more dynamic, more entertaining, and more trying to get a better view of all the work I do around the homestead. I should have put on bug spray. I'm going to be bitten by mosquitoes through this whole video. But anyway, uh, so anyway, if I, if I was going to buy just a cheap tripod, I decided to buy one of these weird ones, mount it on the rifle. I'm even going to try to mount it on my compound bow, which I'll, I'll show in a second, and we'll just see how it goes. I mean, I don't know if this will work. Um, I will say right off the bat that I think this will be a little shaky because as you can see, basically I'll just mount the phone up on my rifle like this. So you'll be right here and I'll turn it around. So you, I can actually record, not that you can see me because I'm in shadow. Hello. Um, but I can record like this and I can flip, use the other, the front facing camera or back facing camera to record my actual shots. So we'll experiment with that. I'm gonna do a lot of shots with the rifle here with uh with my compound bow and we'll just see how they turn out you know just an experiment so thank you for joining me on this experiment let's see what happens um i have a feeling it'll be a little shaky both with the bow and the springer because there's going to be when i let loose the arrow there might be some shake when i shoot this there'll definitely be some shake because it's not made for this um but i think with a pcp air rifle it would be much better because there isn't a lot of jolt or recoil or any kind of like kickback with those or not really. I mean, maybe with a really big bore, um, high caliber, high caliber ones. But, but I mean, we'll see. I mean, I don't own one of those yet. So for the future. But I want to see how bad it is. This might be terrible and might not work. And then I will have bought that stupid thing for nothing. <laughs> but it's worth a shot. So I'm going to experiment here, and we'll see how it goes. And hopefully, it'll be it'll work and be entertaining. Now, before before I get to it, I keep interrupting myself. I did see some cool tutorials about how to take a make a turn a a cell phone, a smartphone um, case, and turn it into like a rifle, like rifle scope. So you're actually looking through the scope with me. But I would, I didn't quite want to do that. I might try that in the future. But for now, I wasn't. That's not necessarily the look I'm going for. Ideally, I just want you guys to be able to see what I'm shooting, especially because I'm going to try documenting all my hunting. So I got to figure out how to do that. So the squirrel hunting, which is coming up in less than a week. Yeah, four days. So I believe from when I'm recording this video, not when you're seeing it probably, but so that'll be a good experiment because it's not really that much to hunting squirrels. So I'll see how I can document. I'm like resting the gun on my boobs. <laughs> the advantage of having serious cleavage. So anyway, um, let me do some shooting. I'll put you up on the camera. I mean, I'll put you up on the, the rifle and I'll put you on the compound bow and we'll see how things turn out.
All right. So that was a little shaky. I did, um, I recorded not zoomed in and zoomed in. It's, it's not great because I still need to be able to like, I don't know, I still need to kind of like move the camera up and down to really kind of like get it to look where I want it to look. And I think that'll be hard in the heat of the moment trying to hunt, but it would be the same for a regular tripod too. And shooting it, it was shaky. And of course, zoomed in, the shake was really, it was way more apparent. So another option is I could try attaching the octopus to the this rifle stand itself. So maybe I'll give that a shot. We'll see how it goes, which I may or may not record or include in this video, but we'll give it a shot. So, yeah, so this seems to have just as much shake when I put it on the tripod itself than when I mount it on the rifle. So I think no matter what, with a Springer, it's just going to be too much. Um, I'm going I'm to try to mount this octopus tripod on my bow. I don't know if this will work, but, you know, I'm all about the experimentation. So we'll give it a shot. I'll see if I can actually shoot an arrow from my compound bow actually hit the target and still have this camera like hanging on top of it recording the action. I think at the end of the day though I probably will just pick up another one of these. I don't know if I'll return this tr camera tripod or not. Eh. I don't know. We'll see. Compound bow. So yeah, that didn't really work. Check out how <laughs> how crazy I mounted that on my bow. Is that hilarious? So yeah, this this um this sort of worked. Um, I don't even know if I'll include any of the footage because it was really bad. Because I did it several times, zoomed in, it just doesn't work. It's really hard to figure out how to like angle the camera to like make sure you're pointing at the thing you're shooting at and. It was difficult on the rifle too, but I was kind of the way you hold the rifle and the way you interact, the rifle the rifle is where it is, so it's easier to aim. This, because I've got to like pull and draw and I can't really see ahead of time what a full where I should put a full drawn bow and where it needs to be pointed. I think it would be hard to get some good shots. It may be fine in a situation where it's like a, it's like if I'm deer hunting, for example, I just need to make sure this is zoomed out and focus somewhere close to where the animal is. That would be okay, but you know, it may be fine for that, but I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably hold on to the the octopus camera because at the very least it could be one less thing to carry around if I'm going to be carrying around a tripod for whatever. Um, just for the heck of it, I think I'm actually going to try to use the tripod to steady my hand while I'm shooting a bow, see if that makes any difference. Fun, fun, fun. But anyway, I just wanted to share this adventure. I, I don't know if this is really going to work. I'm going to, it's another tool in my box now because I've bought it. I mean, I could try to return it, but I mean, I can make use of it. I may end up getting, if I could find another cheap, super cheap, practically free uh, camera tripod, then I may just do that. Maybe I'll ask around, see if has anyone, anyone in town has a free one. They're willing to give up because um, both have its uses. I'm not really 100% convinced on any solution yet. And really, at the end of the day, I think it's going to take me a while to know how to properly document shooting and hunting. It's something I'm just going to have to do a lot and get used to it, and I will take you along on that adventure so you can join me in that process. I just apologize because in the beginning, it's probably going to be a lot of bad footage as I figure it out. Because again, I'm also doing it all by myself. If I had a, a filming buddy or a really nice camera, a really nice, like, set up, then maybe I could do something. Maybe I'll look into setting up some kind of like, I don't know, rifle scope camera too. I don't know. We'll find out. Thank, thank you. I Thank you for just joining me in this experimentation. So much of my channel is just trying to figure stuff out and I love to take you along on that. So I don't know. It's a fun to be out here shooting my, my rifle and my air rifle and my bow and I'm going to keep doing it. So I'll get to it. So thank you so much for joining me on this experimental phase of my afternoon. And, uh, like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you for joining me on this journey.